Vikings Part 3 Meat Brewery in Forge of Empires We enabled the building type Shrine in Part 2 and due to the related quest we also built two of them. The goal for Part 3 of this Tiny Vikings video series is to construct a meat brewery. We still have to produce a lot more access. Sorrowfully we had to make the experience that the copper coins we collect are not enough to support two ex-smith. René Gutstein made a recommendation under the German Vikings Part 2 video. He suggested to replace shacks by shrines as they provide more copper coins on the same floor size. Very good recommendation. We demolished two shacks and built two shrines. Shrines provide 30 copper coins every four hours, shacks only 10. Now we are able to collect 210 copper coins with each production cycle. As the Exmith consumes 100 copper coins every 4 hours, we should be able to accumulate a little stock of copper coins. We again collect several production cycles, very slow, instead of 5 axes every 4 hours our stock of axes grows. We avoid longer production cycles as those are more expensive. Therefore, it is important to lock in every 4 hours at least for a few seconds. I am sure that most already recognize that instead of the longest production option there is a bonus column. This says that we have a chance of 3% to collect 4 times as many axes, which then would be 20 instead of 5. This luck bonus of 3% will grow with each Viking city that we complete up to a maximum of 25%. This has the potential to reduce the time needed to complete a city accordingly. But be aware that the time limit for the extra rewards will also be reduced then which leaves less extra time example given for players who cannot log in every day. In the meantime we collected 28 axes, which is enough for an expansion. In our case there are no obstacles behind our embassy. This is why I decide to buy this expansion. I then move the embassy onto the new expansion and now we have space for two more shacks. Earning a little more copper coins cannot be bad. A bit later we demolish a shack and a shrine and again build a second axsmith. Based on the improved delivery of copper coins it will now be possible to operate both axsmith simultaneously. This way we double the production rate of access. We now receive 10 access every 4 hours. An axsmith only costs a few coins and supplies and we have more than enough of these. Therefore it is not a problem to waste some by having a building for only a couple of production cycles if it speeds up the development of our outpost. When we will construct the meat brewery, the second exsmith will have to be demolished again. But we have some more production cycles until this will happen. In the meantime, we can have a look on another advantage that will come with a completed Viking city. Independent of how long it takes to complete the questline, a Viking will come with us back home to the main city and give us another permanent bonus there. Comparable to the benefits that we receive from being a member of a strong guild, these are coins, forge points, faster military unit productions, etc. These Vikings do not really require a lot of time. It is best to have the possibility to log in every 4 hours. Collecting everything and restarting the productions then only takes a few seconds. 
After some more production cycles, we now have the necessary 45 access to enable the building type Meat Brewery in the Embassy. We already have enough trust from the Vikings, as that additional shrine is still there. Now we have to make some space for the Meat Brewery. We demolish the second exsmith, a shack and a shrine. The trust value will fall below the minimum required for enabling the new building. But once it is enabled, this no longer is relevant. The new building type remains available and we can construct it. We start another X production and then wait an hour until it is completed. To log in at the right time, it is very useful that this new element of the game is already available in the app. With previous beta tests of new features, it often took a while before it became available in the app, as the app stores also need some time. This time InnoGames planned this very carefully and early enough. I'm impressed! Attention! It is a bit unexpected that a click on the embassy enables to abandon the city. Maybe for the release version this will be changed in a way it is on the browser. After one hour construction time the meat brewery is completed. It also requires 100 copper coins every 4 hours and then produces 5 meat. We need 30 meat to complete the next quest and another 15 meat to get another expansion. How this story goes on, you will then be able to see in the fourth part of this tiny Viking video series.